Yo, what's poppin'? It is your boy TJ. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Your boy is here dropping another video for you on this Forex channel. Let's go, baby. So, with this video, we are going to be doing gold sales, okay? I'm literally going to show you how to trade zones with gold. Obviously, the fundamental trading with the wick outs and also the smart money concept, okay? There is a few, few methods to trade gold, okay? Let's be real here. Gold is a difficult pair to trade. Not a lot of people can trade it. A lot of retail will lose their money with gold if you're in a group and they send a gold trade and they're buying at the top what are you doing but it takes a long time to actually understand the concept of how market direction goes with gold you know it takes a long time to learn the wick outs and all that good stuff but your boy tj is here to make sure all of you guys and girls know how to actually trade gold that is literally why i'm here i'm gonna i'm gonna show you all of the vip trades that i actually take with gold XUUSD, and you will see how easy it actually is to trade gold make sure to join our vip if you enjoy the vip signals because i tell you what they are fire but if you are new around here make sure to like subscribe and hit that bell notifications because we upload content one every three days on this channel so do not miss out subscribe hit that bell and let's get into the video let's go baby Okay guys, so we have got gold on at the moment. Now, this is literally a consolidation zone right now. As you can see, it's just going up, down, up, down, up, down. It's consolidating and it's collecting orders. Now, this is a very, very big thing in Forex. Now, what I actually want to tell you guys with gold, look how it's actually moved from 1843, a bullish engulf in this candle, and price continues to go all the way from 1843 to 1873. Now, this has made a lower high and a new high. It's created new highs, so we are looking to go long on gold. However, but before it goes long again, it's going to need a major pullback. And this is why I've actually got this exact thing marked up. Because this isn't a trade that I actually took. I'm still waiting for these 1866 sales up here. However, I just want to show you the concept and the full process behind this trade. Now, if I actually start playing the trade out, you will see price is obviously consolidating right now into channels. However, it does a bearish push to the downside. This bearish push to the downside... As you can see, it's taken out all previous lower highs in the consolidation zone, which means that price has spiked down, spiked below, and now should continue to go on to the bullish upside. And this is exactly what it's done. Look at what's happened. Where's it spiked down to? Previous high, pullback, bullish engulfing. So it's come back down all the way to the previous high, which is acting as a support, but it was previous resistance because this was the top of the high. Pull back, continue to break through the high, break of structure. However, as you can see, price pulled all the way up. It's going to come back either to the previous resistance or to take out the previous lower high on the bullish engulfing candle right here. What does it do? It does exactly that. And look at what happens here. So now it's collected all the spiked, all the old buyers out. Bang right up huge and bullish engulfing candle and this is somewhere where you can get entry with buyers um I, i'm not sure if i actually called these buyers i don't know i can't remember if i'm completely honest with you this was you know a week ago but what happens here is it's, it's insane you see obviously you see a tap out this is where you'll get your buyers entries in whoa 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 slow the fuck down holy shit look at this look at this now honestly hand or heart join up the discord join up the free trades get yourself involved in this but look at this made highs consolidation channel bang bearish push to the downside where a bullish engulfing candle is lower high wick out and then this is where you'll get your buys from 1852 all the way to 1890 guys that's 380 pips 380 pips and all you're doing you know you're being patient with your gold trade you're waiting for the wick out you're waiting for the spike out now you see it so this is where the previous top resistance is on the one hour now i'm going to be looking for sales here because i'm looking for a rejection off the 1890 which is a level in gold where you would see price collect orders and potentially drop the reason why gone up 380 pips you know it could continue but let's be real it's probably not going to continue so we're going to get our sales here and now this is what i want to show you okay obviously the 15 minute is a little bit better now we need to wait for the trade to play out 1866 was actually 
our entry. So let me just get our entry on here. 1866, 1886. Let me do it again. 1886 was actually our entry on sales. Our profit target, we had a few. We had 1880, 1878, and 1876. So 1876 was our lowest take profit for 100 pips. Obviously, we got a 20 pip for sales. You know, you know, your boy TJ likes to trade risk to reward. If any of you guys and girls out there trade and you're in a group sending 40 pip SLs, you need to get out of there because you're not going to be making the right percent. Like, you just don't. You need to be tight SLs, big risk to rewards, insane trading. So, on the 15 minute, we saw a rejection and I got entry in it straight away. I weren't missing out, you know. The 300 plus pips, I weren't going to miss out on this because the, the bullish. The bullish momentum was absolutely crazy. And this is where sniper entry is important. Obviously, 1890 or 1888 was the better entry. But 1886 is what we got because I was waiting for more confirmations. And you have to have to make sure that you are 100% certain with your trade. If you was to get 1890 SL entry, risk-free trade, baby. That's another thing you guys need to be doing. However, we stick to our analysis. We believe in a trade. As I said, 1880 is TP1 for 60 pips. Right there, bang, 1880, smash, take profit, 60 pips collected from a 20 pip or sell, that's 3% already, and we're still holding TP2 and TP3, so potentially 9% if we was to close TP2 and 3 right now, but we're holding because we want it to go bearish, okay, I want to see some serious bearish momentum, gold will obviously do this, and I just want to tell you, look at the times, 6 o'clock in the evening, okay, 6 o'clock in the evening, the markets, Look at here, 2.30, New York session open at 1.30, bang, bullish momentum. So what's going to happen now, you know, New York session still open, but it's not It's not just opened, so we're going to see it push back. We, that, that's how you got to think about gold, you know, you got to think about the trading times as well. Is there going to be a lot of people still pushing gold? No, there's not going to be because it's already moved from 1852 to 1890, okay? It's moved a shit ton of pips. It is going to pull back. As long as you get that sniper entry, it does matter. As you can see, zero drawdown. Zero drawdown, so important. If you're doing FTMO or anything like that, that's something I really thrive on. Sniper entries. You can literally go into the Discord, ask my VIP about my how my VIP is to a public group chat. You know, you'll get VIP members to tell you about it. But as you can see here, what actually happened? 1867. 1867, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. What happened previously before that 1867 on the one hour? What do we see here? Price on 1852, wick out previous lower highs, goes bullish to 1890, top resistance on the pullback, actually pulls back all the way down to the consolidation channel where the previous lower high of the bullish engulfing. If gold's on the uptrend because here 1890, you'll be looking for buys here. Okay, you would be looking for buys here. But TP2 1878, which was here, TP2 smashed 1878, and then TP3. 1876 smashed as well because I was gonna think this could act as a resistance of the channel to then go long However, you know gold's gonna push back so far downwards because obviously it's gone up 380 pips Okay, that's just that's just that's a big big move. That's a big big move However, as you can see TP1 TP2 TP3 smashed all take profit smashed 20 pip per sell couldn't we actually got over 240 pips collected from these three positions, which is 12% using a 20 pip SL, using 1% each TP. That is 12% on just that trade. That is FTMO completed. You know, if you've got a million pound account, you just made 120 grand. If you've got a 100k account, you just made 12k. That is insane. And all I did was trade on the wick outs. You could have got the wick out here on the buys, but also, you know, the top of the resistance sells. Now this is wicking out, you can get buys, and that's how you trade gold. You see how, how, and I actually want to, I want to play this out, just, just so I know, you know, will gold go long again? You know what I mean? Is it going to go long? Is it going to consolidate, consolidate in this channel? What would actually happen? However, how I would look at it, is that gold would go long from here, because collected orders again, it's gone on to the upside, it's made a new high, and then it's going to see if it can break that high or not. And that is literally how you can trade gold with the wick outs, with the previous lower highs, the higher highs. You don't have to get into the trade straight away. You know, you can wait, you can see market direction, get your analysis correctly, and then take advantage of your trade. You don't need to rush trading, okay? If you're hitting a 12% trade, you do that once a week, 
you know, you're making stupid amounts of profit, 48% in total every single month if you're making 12% a week. In VIP, we're actually making, at this moment of time, 20% three weeks in a row right now, which is 60% VIPs up. Absolutely eating, and I love to see that. I love to hear that as well from the VIP members. Obviously, you can check out their profits in the Discord. There is a profit section. You can see all of the VIPs' profits in there. They will post it for you. However, as you can see, look, gold is so simple to trade if you can get that market direction. Jump into my live stream. Let me help you trade gold. Hopefully, you guys have learned something from this video. I really enjoy making this sort of content because it gives you know, the beginners, a concept of how to actually trade gold. And as you can see right there, price come up to the body at 18.89 and then rejected again. And it rejected all the way back down and then went back up. It's absolutely insane. Gold's actually at 18.82 right now. This is Monday morning. But yeah, it's absolutely crazy. Much love and the support. I hope you guys learned something. Let me know in the comments if you learned something. Obviously, join up the free trades, VIP, Discord. It's all, all in there. You know, there's a lot of free stuff. You don't have to pay. But it has been your boy DJ. Much love and the support on the channel. It's been insane. We are going up like that. Over 206 members this Monday, right now in VIP and growing. Grow like 150 this month, which is absolutely insane. Let's keep up the support. Much love on the videos. Much love on the support. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. But until next time, let's go, baby. And peace.